Benson family. Hi, Ophelia. I've got Tucker here with me. We're having a big thunderstorm right now. So there's thunder and lightning and rain outside. And so Tucker's staying right next to me. And we're reading The Little Engine That Could. This is by Waddy Piper and reimagined by Caldecott medal winner Dan Sanat. And this has an introduction by Dolly Parton because this is another book from Dolly Parton's book club Imagination Library. The Little Engine That Could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. This has some input from Dolly Parton. It says, hello, dear friends. Welcome to the Imagination Library. This wonderful book, The Little Engine That Could, is just the first of many more books to come because of the support of local sponsors like one of the listed on the book's mailing label. I hope every book brings joy to your entire family because I am certain that if you love books, you will love learning. I want to share a few lines of a song I wrote for the Imagination Library. The song is called Try. Try to be the first one up the mountain, the highest, climbing, the highest flying dreamer in the sky. Try your best to be an inspiration for others that are still afraid and shy. Try to make the most of every moment. If you fail, get up and try again. Try each day a little harder, as if you never try, you never win. As a special gift to you, I wanted to also gift a free download from my children's CD titled, I Believe in You. Maybe you will have as much fun listening to it, to it as I did writing it. So there's a link to her song too. All right, let's get started. The little engine that could. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the rocks. She was a happy little train for she had a jolly load to carry her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. Oh, there's a pink elephant and giraffes and kids. It says, there were toy animals, giraffes and long, with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. There were dolls, Dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of things boys or girls could want. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little girls, little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. Whoa, 
what were all the good little boys and girls going to do on the other side of the mountain, going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. There's the clown. So all of the dolls and toys cried out together, please shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted. So all the, do to all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you, I'm a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain and more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars and comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in soft armchairs and look out the big plate glass windows. I pull the lights of you? Indeed not. And off he steamed to the roundhouse, where engines live when they are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here's another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed, I'm a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am very important engine. Indeed, I won't pull the likes of you. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roundhouse. <sighs> Getting denied all the time. Oh, what do we have here? The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved the flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. 
I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Then indeed the little train was very, very sad and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came chug, chug, chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. is the matter my friends she called she asked kindly oh little blue engine cried the dolls and toys will you pull us over the mountain our engine has broken down and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with our good food to eat unless you help us please please help us little blue engine He says, I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching tra trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain, but we must get over the mountain before the children awake and all the dolls and all the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes, and she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, slowly they started off. Look at that. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and the toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, 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 I think I can. Up and up, faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. And down in the valley lay the city. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. It says, and the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain. I thought I could, 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 and I thought I could. And this is just some stories from Dolly Parton about joining the club. Again, this is another book that's an imagination library book. And this is called The Little Engine That Could by Waddy Piper and Dan Sinat. Sweet dreams, everybody. Thanks for watching Grandma Alicia's Storytime. Remember to subscribe. And if you feel like it, you can comment your favorite book below or tell us what you thought about the book we just read. Thank you.